Right, welcome back to the workshop. So I've been doing um, some work on the Gaia tone. You know when people say to you, <coughs> things are going to get worse before they get better? There's some truth in that statement. Watch this video. <laughs> so I've got the set of strings on there. Um, it highlights the fact that the action is far, far too high. All of the um, hardware's fine down there, so I'm not worried about that. So the issue is with the pitch of the neck. So it looks like I'm going to have to reset the neck. Also, what the strings have shown us by putting the, the thing under tension is that we've got a gap. The fretboard is actually coming away from the neck along here. And you can see that quite clearly with that feeler gauge. Um, <coughs> so the plan is now, um, take the frets out, get the fretboard off. That should then give me access to the joint here and hopefully I can disassemble that joint and then do any remedial work that I need to do and reassemble it. So yeah, let's get started on that one then. <clears throat> so as it happens, the frets are coming out quite easily. They haven't been glued in or anything like that, so yeah, no problem at all. <coughs> there you go, no frets. And it took about 10 minutes, so I'm really pleased about that. So what I've done <coughs> is I've drilled a series of holes into which I can put some little wooden pegs and they're going to help me relocate the fretboard once I come to glue it back onto the neck um, at a future stage. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see I'm slowly um, removing the fretboard. What I've been doing is I've been putting some water into the join using um, a hypodermic syringe and of course that gap being there in the first place helped enormously and also can introduce some water through these holes that I've drilled for those um, those wooden pegs so that allows me to introduce moisture into the, uh, the join itself um, and then heating up the fretboard with um, a domestic iron need to be careful that you don't melt the inlays because I take it they're plastic and they're purloid and what I've been gradually doing is sliding down this old library card just to, just to kind of um, introduce a wedge, a bit of tension in there. And I'm using this rather than anything metallic because what I don't want to do is damage the, the wood. So yeah, I shall just keep slowly at it until hopefully we get to there and it goes ping and it pops off. I don't know if you can hear it, it's gradually these little cracking noises where the glue's giving giving away. <coughs> I'm going to slide that in a bit further. There you go. A little bit further. And that's how we're progressing all the way along. And Hey presto, <laughs> the fretboard is off. As I said, wanted it to reveal the join. And as you can see, there's this lovely big dovetail here. So I should be able to apply the same method, inject some water into there, and hopefully that will come out. Um, <clears throat> I thought there was an adjustable truss rod. Um, the reason I thought that is because there is a truss rod cover, <laughs> which was at the end there. Um, clearly there isn't. There are however two strips of something. I'm not sure what that something is. I'll explore that. Um, <coughs> obviously if it's wood I'll probably take it out and replace it with carbon fibre. If it's metal, don't know. So again, watch this space. But yeah, it's getting exciting isn't it? So I think all I'm going to do is try to, well we'll put some water down that front edge there. and try to get some into the joints here. Go 
and really just let it soak in. It's a nice joint though, look at that. Side so just um, scraped off the lacquer around the neck join there and discovered that I can slide my feeler gauge under the shoulder of that dovetail so that is obviously going to be another way in for me to gradually work that round and that will break down the glue on the shoulder there so I put a drop more water into the join there warming up my knife here and really just trying to clean out the glue soften and break down the join going to take a while right as you can see it's the next after a couple of hours heat moisture probing things in the joint is gradually getting there difficult to see what's holding it now See what? If I put this neck in, knew what they were doing. I can see behind the joint now, so it's clearly not stuck at the back. Right, so it's taken me a couple of hours, but that neck is out at last, and yeah, not too much damage done, so I'm pleased with that. Um, what I need to, to tackle now are these um, neck reinforcements. You can see that they're rusty still, so I'm going to try to get those out. So with the neck removed, um, the pieces of steel, mild steel, which were reinforcing the neck, they came out quite easily. They're, they're, they're corroded so I'm not going to use those again. What I will do is I will replace them with some carbon fibre. The carbon fibre will be just as strong, just as stiff, um, but of course it's much, much lighter. So that's pretty much the disassembly done. So we've got the neck, um, it's, it's fretboard, and of course um, the body so I can look forward to now to bringing it all back together breathing some new life into this old girl and hopefully getting it playing better than it's been playing for <laughs> 60 odd years um, but that will be in the subsequent videos so until then um, you take care thanks for watching cheers